Welcome to another episode of Getting It On with Bonnie. I'm your host, Bonnie, and today my guest is Amy Andre. She is a bi activist, and we are interviewing her today because she is the curator for Framelines Bi Request series. So can you tell us a little bit, what is the Buy Request series? Sure. First, I want to say I'm so excited to get it on with you. I've been wanting to do this for the longest Who time. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> Come <doesn't>. on. <laughs> so um, Buy Request, yes, I'm very, very excited. It's my second year in a row curating this program. And um, basically, it's a uh, program of short films by, by filmmakers. And by bi, we mean bisexual, for those of you who weren't sure. <laughs> we didn't mean double. It's, 50% of people who identify as either lesbian, gay, or bisexual identify as bisexual. So we make up 50% of the LGB population, and we want our stories told. We want to be reflected in the programming. Do you think you could touch a little bit for our audience on bi sure. invisibility? Sure. Just so people can maybe mm -hmm. understand the concept a little of yeah. why it's such a great thing to have this bisexual mm -hmm. by request film short mm -hmm. in the festival. Sure, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of invisibility uh, for bisexual folks that's going on. And um, a lot of that is tied to biphobia. There is research showing that uh, bisexual women in particular experience higher rates of domestic violence victimization than women of other sexual orientations, mm -hmm. meaning lesbians and straight women. And a lot of that has to do with um, biphobia that happens within the, relationship. within the relationship. And then there's also the added isolation of being invisible as a bisexual right. in the greater culture and those things kind of feed in on each other. So it's really important to have a place like at a film festival to see images of bisexual lives. In terms of pop culture and bisexuality, we've seen a lot of stuff in the media lately and I was wondering what your take on it is. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, you see Lindsay Lohan out with I guess her girlfriend or her friends, I'm not really sure, I don't mm -hmm. think anyone's really sure. Do you think that the media is portraying this these women's sexuality in a fair way? Do you think it's doing good for the bisexual community? Well, most of the coverage that I've seen has been uh, perpetuation of this bi invisibility. Um, it's been almost exclusively reported as um, describing them as lesbians. I have. It's like Lindsay Lohan's now a lesbian. Yeah. And she may be. She may have identified as heterosexual in the past and now be identifying as lesbian. I don't know because I don't know her. You should uh, call her up and ask. <laughs> um, but it's also equally likely that she's bisexual. There's a way that the media kind of washes over that for whatever reason. Again, stereotypes about bisexuals or just not even thinking that bisexuals exist. I cannot thank you enough for being sure. here. I've been dying to get it on with you too. Oh, same here. I've been dying. <laughs>